right, you guys. Well, I guess since we're working on the Volkswagen, uh, this would be a good chance to film for you guys. So I brought my children down to the Museum of Tolerance in Los Angeles, and we're gonna go through some of the exhibits. I'll grab some film. Um, as you know, uh, Hitler actually commissioned the Volkswagen Bug. Uh, he wanted a people's car. And so since we're working on that thing, figured we'd show you what the Jewish people went through in World War II. So all of these Hungary, photographs are people that survived the Holocaust. Bowser's, the cobbler when he mended a pair of his shoes. And who didn't laugh? After all, merriment was the glue that kept their sanity intact. <laughs> you guys don't like the Volkswagen stuff, do you? Well, welcome back to the best Volkswagen content there is. It's the 5th of January, 2023. Raining again. Uh, the psycho dog there wanting the neighbor's dog, but raining again. Wow, somebody had fun. We got some tins. My, uh, Stepdad drops them off. Some of these are, I, I'm gonna re-go over these. This is kinda, this isn't up to my par. Um, this doesn't matter. It's just a fan that goes in the doghouse. Um, we got that gasket. I'll show you that in a second. And I think there's some other tins in here. And we're waiting for some other stuff. What I'm gonna do is get this engine cleaned up. I've got some carb cleaner, so I'm gonna vacuum this thing, get it cleaned up, chase the threads on the exhaust stud, stuff like that, start getting it ready to put back together. And then I'll jump over, we'll do the inside of the uh, firewall for this, um, whatever this stuff is, the stuff in the back of this bug here. Let me show you. All that stuff, we're gonna get all that stuff done. We'll get that painted and then uh, we'll get going, get this thing back together. All right, it's been a couple hours. Uh, I didn't film really much anything because it's kind of boring what I'm doing. I got the one gasket for the engine compartment in, and I'll show you. The other one's kind of kicking my butt, so I took a break from that, and let me flip this around. So I'm here. I've cleaned all of the oil. I, I don't know if this was leaking. This could have been leaking, but I've cleaned all the oil, painted it with steel it, um, I have some other stuff that needs to get painted. Like I showed you before, some of the stuff that my stepdad painted just kind of wasn't what I was expecting it to look like or what I think it should look like. But I've got a few more things to paint. So here's the 110 that he had painted. I kind of went over it and painted it with VHT. Just that way it looks better when it all goes together. Now, these gaskets that I'm talking about, they're... they're rubber gaskets that seal the engine compartment. And I got the one in on basically the firewall, not that bad, but the one that goes around, kicking my butt. 
All right, so we're in the engine compartment. This one I got in fairly easy. This one, it's got this this channel, see that it goes in. I've got silicone. Um, it's just extremely tough to get it in here. And it's super stiff. So it's kicking my butt. Uh, I did get the firewall pad painted and I didn't use, I was gonna use trim black and I didn't use trim black. I ended up using some bed liner stuff because I think it looked better and it kind of gave it a textured look cause that, it, this is actually old stuff. So you know, I actually think it looks better. It's just, that stuff's like cardboard, I think. And I wasn't gonna take that out. Uh, I, I figured if I took it out, I would mess it up. So, um, the goal for me tonight, or what I'm going to try and do is get the oil pump cover back on, maybe the front little tin right there, maybe the crank pulley. I don't know. The crank pulley is kind of not painted that well. And then I'm going to try and finish out getting this gasket on. Then I'll clean up and, uh, start again tomorrow. I already got the gasket on there and got the other one cleaned off. When I took this apart, it had these weird nuts, so I'm gonna reuse them. I think that's like a version of Loctite. I'm really just trying to clean up this front area where you're gonna see actually the case. The only way that my parents will be able to make this thing not leak oil is to just start over with a new short block. They're not gonna do that. So, I'm trying my best with what I got. You only see a little bit of the case on these things anyways because of all the tin work. That stuff had the thing break off of it. That's weird. See, it's like pressed into the nut. I'll just get this off. Red lock tight will be the trick. As you know, I hate things that leak oil. It's one of my biggest pet peeves, man. Oil sling and hack. Okay. It's got some red lock paint on her. Okay. I had to repaint this front tin. It goes right here.
The Volkswagen uses these flathead. I hate these things, but I just use them because that's what they do. So we're making headway. The generator stand, I'm gonna paint tomorrow. It was just raining, it's kind of humid outside, so uh, I painted the oil cap that goes on it black, and then I'm gonna paint the actual stand the same color here, steal it gray. But I'll probably stop on that for now. I think I'm gonna change the uh, gaskets for the oil cooler as well. But I'll flip this thing around, see if I can get the camera, sorry, see if I can get the camera to angle down in in this thing and you guys can watch me struggle trying to put this uh gasket in all right Let's see what we can get done here what's crazy to me are all these chevy guys driving these 154s Sean, Cleaner. Well, time lapse it is. I'm gonna see if I can finish this up. I guess that wasn't so bad once I got in the groove and started going, I got it in there. I did notice, I don't know if anybody else even watching this channel is gonna work on a freaking Volkswagen, but my father-in-law, my stepdad, not my father-in-law, my stepdad, he's been buying all this stuff from J-Bugs, which I know nothing about. But I noticed that this gasket in the corners, uh, it wasn't, let's see if I can show you a piece. So basically, this is what goes in the channel. And I noticed that when you get to the corners, um, this is like kind of stuck to it. There's, it's not, it's not like this open. It's like smashed down and stuck to it. Not that anybody watching this channel is gonna be working on a bug, maybe so, I don't know. But just so you know, 
when you go to put yours in in the corners it may be difficult but that's it for tonight i'm gonna clean up the shop i'll come back out and check you guys in the morning What up you guys it's the morning of the 6th cleaned the shop up last night and um i have already started painting stuff without even filming so um not much of an update i've got the pulley on my stepdad still has the the big bolt that goes in there so i'm waiting on that i set these j tubes in these eliminate the heater boxes they're just loose right now i'm gonna put the other exhaust on there and then when he brings the tins that come under the engine like this uh, i may weld some tabs off of this so that i can retain the tins that go underneath here i also painted a bunch of stuff and steel it i've got the generator put back together uh, i need to put that back together so i can go into the doghouse and then let me show you the doghouse so my stepdad sandblasted or stripped the paint off of this and painted it but i think i'm gonna shoot some paint on it i gotta go pick up my daughter from the airport here pretty quick but i don't know i i think i'm gonna throw a coat of paint on it myself that way it matches he was using like roll bar paint for some of the tins and then some different paint for the dog house so i'm gonna make it all the same it's going out of here and people are gonna know i worked on it and i want to make sure that it looks good so I'll probably uh, put this out and paint it before I leave to the airport. But if anybody is out there doing any kind of fabrication, working on stuff, if you haven't used steel it, um, it is really expensive. But man, it lays out so nice and it looks so nice on the stuff that you paint. So I've got the coil bracket in my little, I've got a little shed off to the side of my shop. I've got the coil bracket in there and the generator stand. Um, do a nose and steel it silver um kind of at a standstill until i get more parts from my stepdad uh, like i say i'm gonna make all the tins other than those heater boxes be able to go back on this engine and i think i'm gonna pull, go ahead and pull the oil cooler off and replace the gaskets it's not leaking at all but i might as well do that uh, i may save that till after the airport though so i was getting ready to put you guys up on a stand and put the generator together I put this pulley on last night. My stepdad painted this pulley. He's completely missed right here. So I'm gonna have to pull this pulley off and repaint it. All right, I'm gonna assemble the back of this generator. Pull this pulley off and repaint it. Uh, this thing's got some almost looks like a, a 
material hit it when the paint was wet. I'm just gonna stuff this up. That way when I put my paint on it, it looks nice, clean, and uniform for some runs here. Over here, it looks like these runs are in the primer, maybe. generator stand on this deal. All right, you guys, that'll do it for this video. I promise on the next video, we'll start putting all these pretty tins back on this engine. Uh, we'll get the clutch on it and we'll get it up in there. I gotta run to Burbank and get my daughter, but we'll catch up with you on the next one and thank you for watching.